Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we're going to be looking at a number of massive loads being transported from all across the world. So make sure to stick around till the end and to give this video a like if you enjoy it. This monster of a truck is known as the Road Train in America. It is transporting these 400 ton generators from California. Compared to its typical superload carrier, it can run comfortably at speeds of up to 25 kilometers an hour. And that's what it can do with its great trailer. The trailer has 192 tires and is 300 feet long and 20 feet high. It requires at least 5 hauling loads to carry this heavy load. But here, the extraordinary 600 horsepower truck, aka the Mack Titan, is strong enough to pull these massive loads. The size of heavyweight superloads also adds more challenges for transporters. That's the reason why most of the surveys have been carried out since every superload was taken. The road's length and width are measured, and every obstacle is assessed so that there should be no problem on the way. Now they are carrying a blade of a wind turbine. Each regular blade is about 120 feet long. In 2016, yet again, Emmert carried another big load to its home. Looking at the electromagnet, which is 50 feet tall, people were happy and amazed. The name of this load was the Moon G2. It traveled 3,200 miles and reached Brookhaven National Laboratory in New York. While in New York, Emmert was only allowed to move it during the night. The magnet was $30 million, with $3 million spent on the transportation alone. It's still being used in the study of subatomic particles. In this clip, you can see how a 363-ton mining truck is being taken to a mining site with some hauling vehicles. You may be wondering why they didn't just drive the truck on its own wheels. The straightforward answer is that the configuration of the transport truck and the trailer not only holds a heavy weight, but also distributes the weight of the load so that it will have little effect on the lane. If this monster had ran over the road, it would most certainly cause damage. Modular trailers are used to carry heavy cargo, but unlike SPMTs, these can't run by themselves. Usually, a truck or tractor is used to pull them. 
The combined units are sometimes called road rails. For this load, the Beelin Group coupled a notebook trailer with a Volvo FH750. Integrating both marvels has made the transportation service much faster and more flexible. Beelin Group now heavily relies on these. You can see the speedy delivery of the loaded excavator, which reflects its efficiency. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps us a lot. The steel industry was in dire need of a special trailer that could handle 900 degree hot steel slabs. After much effort, the well-known company Kamag succeeded in making it. However, the slab trailer needed a ride for going to its work. The TTI group stepped in with its two intercombi trailers to help. These trailers have the functionality of both a modular trailer as well as an SPMT. When necessary, these can function in both ways. The load weighed 132 tons, had a length of 7.1 meters, a width of 6.6 .6 meters, and a height of 5.4. They finally delivered it to the Heilbronn Harbor after crossing a 269 kilometer long path with many ups and downs. Sometimes the size of a load causes more complications than the weight. But when you have to carry up to 200 tons of load across a narrow public area, transportation becomes even more dangerous. In 2013, such a situation occurred when Felbermayr came to Romania with eight steel giants. Each weighed 245 tons. There were hurdles like plants and trees on both sides of the road. A slight twitch could cause a severe accident but the attentive and experienced team of Felbermayr successfully delivered to the port of Constanta without even a scratch. The T2A2 is known as the world's second largest dump truck. The empty T2A2 weighs 240 tons, which is equal to the weight of 130 standard cars. To transport it along the road, National Group decided to remove its wheels before the loading. Then a road rail powered by two powerful trucks is used to carry it. Police helped escort this beast throughout its journey. Before putting the load on the route, a cargo company has to conduct numerous surveys. Most of the time, it is spent measuring every aspect of the freight. Furthermore, the investigated data is presented to authorities for required approvals. Sometimes authorities shut down all traffic. Bridges along the way are sometimes removed and the transportation companies pay for it. However, transportation companies like Omega Morgan do not allow anything to be broken even if they carry a 400-ton, super-bulk yacht in a narrow street.
large ships such as this excursion steamer cost millions of dollars. Recently, Kubler made history by transporting a vast ship to its new home. First and foremost, they separated the upper deck from the hull and transferred it to a carrier. Similarly, Kubler's B-team took the hull of the ship. Kubler ran multiple simulations before putting the loads on route. It enables them to precisely move through each decision they make along the way. Up next, we have a Caterpillar water tank that is sitting on a cargo system developed by NHH. Typically, such large cargo needs road inspections before transportation. In certain countries, permission from the government is also required since the weight of the immense load may cause damage to roads and bridges. It is also necessary because the size of the cargo may cause a block for other traffic. However, in Australia, transporters can easily transport the superload as their highways often remain vacant. The size of the load is critical in transportation. Transporters make every effort to keep the load as low as possible. This maintains the cargo steady throughout transportation, reduces the amount of work required to load the trailer, and enables carriers to proceed without harming any adjacent property. Here you can see the transfer of a 124 ton cargo that is 12 meters wide and 25 meters long. Brashuis is utilizing their SL trailer to transport such an oversized cargo. The trailer is equipped with nine axles. It is providing a minimal loading height of 790 millimeters. Additionally, the trailer can be tilted 57 degrees while entering or exiting the loading dock in reverse. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two. Feel free to like and subscribe, it's always a big help to us. And with that, we'll see you next time.